Hi friends, I'm now inside B'nai Amun Synagogue once again. There's uh, the front doors to the synagogue and I was going to show you some places that I have not shown you before. This is the library and you can see the big window that looks out on the parking lot right now and all of the hundreds and hundreds of books that the synagogue has collected over the years in the library and really set up beautifully to rest and to talk and to enjoy just sitting in the library. Now we're gonna go, whoops, that was pretty quick, past the reception desk and the gift shop, which I think I showed you the last time, in the main lobby here and the ark from Zara Sanctuary that you've seen also. But now I'm gonna go right instead of left. And here we are, going, going down the hallway in the other part of the synagogue. Those doors in front of me go into the preschool and the religious school classrooms. Uh, when they are in session, because of COVID and so on, we are not really allowed to visit that area. So we won't be going in there, but maybe at some point we'll be able to go in there again. Um, restrooms and water fountains and down the hall. The first place that I'm stopping is a beautiful outdoor garden area where people can sit, relax, meditate. And as you see, it is dedicated in memory of Anne Zero. Here's the other part of it. Isn't that a beautiful area just right inside here in the synagogue? Now I'm stopping in front of some plaque, large plaque that you may recognize. It is the Tulsa Hebrew School plaque. And I just thought I would take a minute to show the various smaller plaques that are on the board because I know that many of you will recognize the names from the history that you have had with this community and with the synagogue. So we're gonna go up and down, take a look and see the names that are on the plaques here of the synagogue. Isn't this a wonderful way to remember so many leaders and friends, members of B'nai Amuna and of our Jewish community here in Tulsa. One more row. Mr. and Mrs. I. Nadel. I'm sure that most of you went to, uh, who were members of the synagogue, went to the Hebrew school classes Sunday morning, bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah, in the Nadel building. And there we are. And here is the plaque that is dedicated. Ooh, I think it's a little, I hope you can see this, in memory of Babe and Yetta Magoon. I'm not gonna go down this hall because it's gonna take a lot of time, but these are called the Leaves of Life. And we had them in a different configuration before, but they've been put in the hallway here in a beautiful display Here's one group that uh, I remember these when I worked here years and years ago as program director. Across from the plaques is the is this gathering space. It's called the Youth Lounge, and there are a lot of events that take place here certainly on Sunday mornings as well. Now we're going to go down the hallway into what is now the, what you may think of as the new Sanditon Hall. Many breakfasts, brunches, and dinners are held here in Sanditon Hall. Um, it's set up, it looks like, for a small gathering of people. Sometimes I think the preschool has used this space and the wall is decorated 
with all kinds of uh, art owned by the synagogue. We're going to go out from Sanditon Hall, and we're going to go down to what is probably one of the core places that men and women remember, but uh, where we used to gather in the building before it was renovated, and that is the dairy kitchen. Here we are. Your amazement when you see how beautifully equipped, how large the dairy kitchen is here in the synagogue. We still have a meat kitchen, of course. Uh, it's, I'm, I'm not going down the hall to show you that, but I can assure you it's used very well. But the dairy kitchen has now been used for not only meals here at the synagogue, uh, preschool meals as well, but also what the synagogue has done for a number of years called the Altamont Bakery. And Altamont Bakery produces delicious chocolate chip and other cookies which go on sale at the synagogue and in other locations here in Tulsa. Is that not amazing? In fact, we've been told that we've won awards for our kosher cookies. All right, back down again, going past the uh, Sanditon Hall. Obviously, here's storage that is out in the building for the kitchen. Hall of class that we have at the synagogue, etc. And that is the other side of the B'nai Amunah Synagogue that I wasn't able to show you before. I hope that you are looking at our page and remembering that we are considering an in-person event March 31st through April 2nd here in Tulsa. We would love to have so many of you come and visit and stay with us and we will be giving you news as soon as we get our preliminary plans together. Keep in touch, email us. If you need emails and addresses of your friends, also let us know. Bye-bye.